Hello and welcome, I'm Lloyd and this is the Dressing Gown Diary. It's the review show of round four and the preview of Super Saturday. Got in with company today, little Teddo. Say hello, Teddo. Woohoo! Super Saturday is exciting for everyone in this household. So let's go quickly through round four, what happened. Italy secured their first win at home in 23 attempts. Scotland will reflect badly on this game. They were 22-10 up, but yet didn't manage to close it as they went down fighting the score below 31-29. Italy will be delighted that they finally got the monkey off their back. First win at home, as I said, in 23 matches. The second game saw England battle and win against Ireland in an epic performance at Twickenham. Twickenham was bouncing, listening to all the England fans that report into the dressing gown diary that this is the greatest team ever. We're going to win everything. Is this a false dawn or is this the start of new beginnings? Only time will tell. And it's a big test as they travel to France today. Smith with the drop goal, England pumping. But there's been question marks over the atmosphere at Twickenham. Why has it been so dour? Because the rugby has been rubbish. It's the first time England actually tries to play rugby. Scored some good tries. It was a brilliant performance, I have to say. Wales in the final game of the weekend were looking to make it three upsets out of three over the round four. But unfortunately came up short, losing to France quite comfortably in the end. 24-45. France just brought the power game. Some of their units in the they, they went with a 6-2 split in the forwards. And they just had too much for Wales. It was too tricky, too hard, too much, came up short. But they will be quite happy with how they played in parts. But that power that the French have got will come on to more in a little bit later. Today, of course, is Super Saturday. Those that are feeling the pain from the bookies at Cheltenham uh, during the week probably got a bit of Cheltenham flu. It all kicks off, though, this weekend. Not only is it Super Saturday in the football, in the uh, rugby world, it's also FA Cup quarterfinal day. So the first big shout-out goes to the mighty Sky Blues, who are playing at Wolverhampton today at 12.15. An opportunity to get to Wembley as a championship side will be a great achievement. Come on, you city boys. We then move into... Let's see if Teddy will take this or not. Let's have a go, Teddy, the Wales hat. No, he isn't disgusted. This game, of course, is the battle for this. Wales against Italy, 2-15, the battle for the wooden spoon. The equation's pretty simple. Wales have got no wiggle room. They have to win. Anything less, Italy will finish, four, uh, finish fifth and Wales will finish sixth. Wales, obviously, on the announcement that George North is retiring uh, and this will be his 121st cap, he will want to go out on a win. North and uh, Tompkins reuniting for the last time their centre pairing. Caputo is out for Italy as well. Will he be a big loss? Italy have, uh, that won last time when they're in Cardiff, but that's the only win in 17. And they've never won, avoided three defeats in a row, which this could be the first time in the Six Nations. Wales are on a horrendous losing streak. They've lost 11 in 12, six in a row at home. It's the worst record they've ever had in the five or six nations. Can it get worse later today? Let's see. Italy, Scot uh, Ireland, Scotland. Ireland, the equation is straightforward. Avoid defeat and you are the six nations champions. It's not hard. They've won 18 on the bounce at home. They're on a 10 win run against Scotland. It all looks and points towards a comfortable Irish win. But Scotland have plenty to play for, though, as well. They could still win the Triple Crown. They'll want to finish as high as they can and go for it. But surely, Ireland at home, in Dublin, playing the type of rugby they are, they'll be smarting from their defeat last week at Twickenham and will come back back fighting. The final game of the weekend, the final game of this year's 2024 Six Nations, sees England travel to France in an 8 o'clock kickoff. England have not won in, in France. The last time was 2016, some time ago. If France win, it will be the first time they've won four in a row against England since 1972. They will be backing themselves. There's a few changes. Elliot Daly's in for Fenway uh, Weboso. A bit of a loss for England, but he failed a, uh, a, a concussion test. But this really is all about how much power can France bring and how much can England stop. I predict it's going to be a big scoring game. So certainly look at, look at even money bets on those. But we'll finish off. Freddie's flutter for this weekend. Those that have followed it, we haven't done too well this season. But we're going to finish with a flurry here. We're going, uh, Freddie is going with France minus five and a half on the handicap against England. Predicting that France will pile the points on at home. 
So get involved. This is the dressing gown diary. This is the last one of the 2020, 2024 preview seasons. Enjoy the six hours of rugby if you can get them. Up the sky blues. What do you say, Teddo? Da, 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 da. City. Over and out.